Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, I am still making knives. Uh, I've made a few smaller knives here uh, just because for me it's worth it to just chop up the steel more and just have more time on the grinder and just to get more shapes out. Uh, these are just after heat treat. Uh, I tried, pre these are pre ground. I don't know if you can tell, it's convex already. And then uh, I put it through the forge. And then these have no grind on it completely flat and put it through the forge. Both of them survived. I'm pretty happy about that. This beast is about 3 16th. Uh, Tonto. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the handle yet. Um, didn't really have to choose. Just wanted to get it through the forge. But, yeah, you can tell I sanded this part off right after the forge and then put it in the oven. I got a really dark straw color when it came out. But then it turned even darker after a while. Yeah, I need to fix that grind line. I just still have some thickness here that I need to take off anyway, so I'll probably fix that later. Just a rough cut. And yeah, these are probably gonna be neck knives of some kind. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, and these are more of a slicing design. But yeah, I have my own 154 cm blades here. I don't know know how to heat treat these, so I'm still waiting for. Um, I have some more bar stock that I need to grind out before I send these out for heat treat. This has been here for like months, so yeah, I need to clean these up now and finish them off. Uh, I have some wood coming in the mail also, uh, taking its time, so we'll see how that turns out. Maybe I'll just do G10 on these instead. I really do like the wood after doing the Sugar Creek Forge build along. It just uh, has so much more character than just G10. That's just my opinion.